Yeah. Okay. Zan's first time on the board. Let's see you. Fly the ship. Oh, no, I'm nervous. You're making me nervous. Get both hands going at the same time. There you go. That's it. <laughs> I have no idea why I love that song so much. It's probably because I'm an enigma. Years ago, the Orville lost something, and I think it's coming back this season. In season two of the Orville, the fans lost something that we haven't seen since the episode Home, when Halston Sage's character left the show. She played everyone's favorite Salayan chief of security who can just as easily break your arm as break your heart. The 20 man army all packed inside a small pointy eared package who the crew of the Orville had complete confidence in, even though she didn't always have confidence in herself. Of course, I'm talking about Alara Catan. We all said our goodbyes as Alara went back home to mend her relationship with her family. We really got to know her better than most characters on the Orville, and at least for me, she still has a special place in my heart. You guys already know, the Orville is the show we've been waiting for for years. To bring back socially relevant science fiction stories taking place in a utopian future where mankind has put aside its differences to boldly go where no one has gone before. In the beginning, I emotionally got invested in the Orville due to Alara Catan's plight to overcome herself for the betterment of her crew and start on the path to becoming a leader. And over the years, she has always been a hot topic amongst all Orville fan discussions, even though she left the show years ago and was essentially replaced by another dark-haired, similarly built Salayan security chief, Tala Kiali, played by Jessica Zor. Same position and look, but a very different character. The official reason Alara Catan was written off the show and placed with Tala Kiali turns out to be a very simple one. Halston was originally cast to play Alara, this very young, physically strong, but emotionally insecure character who is in a position aboard the Orville that she feels she might be a bit unworthy of, and Halston Sage was perfect in this role. One of the reasons we love Alara so much is because of how Halston portrayed her character. It started off as a sci-fi comedy, but quickly began dealing with very serious storylines and situations and it started to distance itself a bit from the levity of the series and it began to become real. True story! The Orville wanted to keep going in that direction, especially in the upcoming seasons. The writers began seeing the possibilities of where the series can go and grow. Having the chief of security be a bit rougher around the edges and more experienced was what the series needed. But this is not the character they originally wrote Alara to be and not the type of character they would have ever cast Halston to play. They wanted a character that can not only open up a can of slain whoop ass on anyone that gets in her way, but can also have the confidence to have some serious confrontations with other characters while still being able to go out dancing with the girls. They needed a more mature actor to play a more mature character, which isn't what they originally were planning for when they created the series. Jessica Zor was an incredible addition to the show, a total badass, and I feel she adds a much needed new dynamic to the Orville. She's strong, sassy, likes to party. She's confident in her abilities and her job and plays the holophoner. What? Total package, you guys, because she's an adult. And while Jessica Zor replaced Halston Sage as the resident Salayan on board, there's still something very important missing from the show since Alara went back home. The bloom of youth. Innocence. Our newest cast member, Ann Winters, is about the same age Halston Sage was when she got cast as Alara. The show has been missing that young 20-something member of the crew trying to find their way in the universe who's no doubt brilliant, but maybe a little green. The type of character that would fit better into the navigator role as opposed to the actual chief of security role. That dynamic has been missing since Alara left. Ann Winters is playing Charlie Burke this upcoming season. The Orville's new permanent navigator taking John's spot right next to Gordon ever since he was promoted to engineering back in season one. Now, I can't wait to see what kind of relationship Charlie and Gordon have working on the bridge together. I'm guessing she'll be a bit of a genius who's very confident in her job, but doesn't quite know her place dealing with older co-workers yet. I'm hoping she's a bit of a smart ass who can give Gordon
Gordon to run for his money. And don't forget, Captain Mercer hired her for the position. So I'm sure Charlie Burke is going to be fun and awesome, just like everyone else on the show. We're getting that youthful vibe that Alara had back when she was on the show. I love it, you guys. But everyone wants to know if Halston Sage might be making a return in season three. That's a very interesting question. And I do know that Halston is up for it. And the writers are up for it as long as it works with the story of New Horizons. We probably need to make a return to Saleya at some point to pick up Alara, which we are going back to Saleya. Look, in the new season three song for the Orville, we can clearly see the ship returning to Saleya right here. Let's hope this means Halston could be making a cameo as Alara Catan once again. I'd love to see her and Tala join forces to kick some Kalon ass together, you guys. Now you guys know how stupid YouTube works. Click on some things down there, subscribe, donate, search for cat videos. The possibilities are endless. Love you, bye bye